Hi, I'm James Warren from OA Systems. Today we're looking at Dynamics 365 Editable Grids. So Microsoft allow you in Dynamics 365 to add editable grids to your system. And what I'm going to do is take you through a place where I've activated them and show you some of the functionality and capabilities of editable grids. So as you can see here, there's a slightly different view of the information than it normally looks. And that's because we've added editable grids to the system here. So uh, you'll see we have a group by option, which, is, which isn't usually there. Uh, and there's a slightly different font that you can see coming from here. That's just so you can see a clarity between a normal view and one that's got editable grids activated. And of course, there are the very simple things that you'd expect from inside editable grids, where you can go into a record and adjust the text. Um, and as you jump out of that record, it's just going to go in and save that uh, text field as it was before. Uh, but there's also some nice bits of the system where anywhere where we've got a drop down menu or a lookup or those sorts of things, you'll see if you click on that, it'll give you the options that you're able to select from so that you don't get uh, stuck with trying to enter something that won't be properly consumed by the system. Uh, similar to that, we also have the date field here. So you'll see if we go in there, it gives you a calendar to choose from so that you make sure you get the dates in the right format. So you'll see, obviously we want more from that out of the system and Microsoft have come to the party with the group by functionality. So if we go and click on this drop down menu here, uh, you'll see most of those fields are related to the fields that are in our view. If you are looking for something that isn't available to you in one of the views you're working with, it will mean you'd have to go in and edit a view to include that field to be able to be grouped in the system. And let's see what an example of that looks like. So obviously one of the things that people like to do is go and look at uh, opportunities group by account. So if we go in here and do that, you'll see uh, what we get is a header and obviously the related opportunities that are in the system and the opportunity view. If we then want to go in and group by owner, we can uh, group that in that format as well. Um, and another good one to do it by is estimated probability. So uh, this is actually quite good for being able to identify if you've got information filled into the system and you want to go looking for where somebody hasn't entered information. Um, this is a great view because you'll see in here the top probability is one where we haven't entered it. Um, and if you're in a sales meeting or those sorts of things, you could just bounce through the records and go fill in those details. Uh, and once again, uh, the functionality when you've got a multi-select allows you to group it and also you'll see we can minimize all the records that aren't in the format we're looking for. So at this stage that's probably uh, where editable grids uh, co goes to with functionality. I'm James Warren from OA Systems uh, and keep an eye out for our other videos. Thanks.